How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to the House Money Investing Channel. In today's video, I got some crypto movements for you guys, and we're gonna go over 29 stocks that I just bought. If you like this type of content, hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell. I really appreciate it. Hit that description below if you want to read about what this channel is all about. Hit those affiliate links if you want free stock, free shares, or some free cash. Also, my social media is down below as well. If you want to follow me on any platform as I do post for uh, crypto and stocks daily. Now let's jump into it. This is the Bitcoin and the Cash App. This is about a $374.78 so, uh, investment. It's under $400 investment. It has now grown, um, you know, basically from gains up to $3,267.42. Um, at the time of the screenshot, Bitcoin's around $57,500. It was up 1.89% on the day. Then we got Bitcoin in the Robinhood account. We have 1% uh, of a Bitcoin in Robinhood. Uh, we have about 5% of a Bitcoin in Cash App. Um, our average cost is $17,500. Uh, this is an investment of about $225. Bucks. It's now valued at $735.27. Uh, it is 4.1% of the portfolio on the day. We were up $6.25 up 0.86% uh, Total dollar gain is $510.39 It is up 226.96% Looking down below you see the last time I bought some was on March uh, 5th put in about what $23 uh, Which shows you I just buy a little bit here and there um which will raise my average cost as I am kind of averaging up with the dollar cost average strategy. But I'm not just dumping all my money into crypto all at once. I'm kind of slowly deploying it um, just to lower my risk a little bit. Then we got some Bitcoin in the week Weeble uh, app. As you can see, I'm up $15.09. 35%. This is a $78 investment now valued at $93.09. Uh, average price is around 48000 Bitcoin's around 57000 at the moment. Um, once again, looking down below, you can see I bought a little bit here and there in February, a little bit uh, here and there in March. Uh, just small amounts, anywhere from $4 to $37 at a time. Then we got some Litecoin in the Toro app. Um, Litecoin was at two hundred nine fifty nine per coin. It was up $10.73, up 5.40% on the day. Put in $86, is now valued at one hundred nine ninety six. So it is up 27.86%. Total dollar gain is $23.96. Then we got Litecoin in the Coinbase app. We have 17% uh, of a coin. It's valued at $36.26. And once again, down below, you can see uh, my frequency of buying and how much I buy uh, at a time. Then we got Bitcoin in Robinhood. Um, once again, it just ran up. It is now valued at $7.6503. Um, my Litecoin in the Webull. Uh, we're up $21.12. It is up 27.07%. This is a $78 investment now valued at $99.12. Our average price is around $177. Uh, it's currently at $225 per coin. Uh, we do have 0.43% of a coin here. And once again, down below, you can look at the frequency of buying. Uh, putting anywhere from $4 to $37, uh, you know, two or three times a month. Uh, then the Bitcoin and the uh Weibo app ran up a little bit as well uh ran up some more is now valued at 96.78 uh cash app bitcoin ran up some more now valued at three thousand three hundred ninety eight dollars and twenty four cent uh then we have bitcoin in the toro account uh bitcoin is around fifty nine sixty thousand dollars at this point it was up two thousand six hundred eighty three dollars and eighty two cent on the day up four point seven three percent uh we put in two hundred three dollars it's now valued at 478.55 so it is up 135.74 percent total dollar gain is 275 dollars and 55 cent so more than doubling our money here then we got some ethereum in the toro app um it's around 18.5 per coin uh it was up about 107 dollars on a day up about six percent we put it in 168 dollars it's now valued at 269 a two hundred dollars and sixty nine cent. Excuse me. It is up nineteen point four six percent. Total dollar gain up thirty two dollars and sixty nine cent. Uh, Litecoin and the Toro app ran up some more. It's now valued at one seventeen oh eight. 
uh, we got Bitcoin in the Coinbase app valued at 42.42. Uh, we got some Ethereum. We got 2% of Ethereum coin in the Coinbase app valued at 37.57. Uh, Litecoin ran up some more. So we're buying a valued at uh, 38.65. We got Rap Bitcoin WBTC valued at 35.15. We got 5% of a Bitcoin Cash coin valued at 32.52. Uh, Bitcoin even more gains here in the uh, Robinhood app. Now valued at seven sixty seven thirty one. Uh, we went ahead and deposited thirty seven dollars into the stash account. Uh, we deposited fifty four dollars into the Cash App account. Uh, in Cash App, we made a purchase, uh, bought one dollar worth of a Spider Mid Cap Trust Series One form uh, fund. Uh, Spider's a good hedge fund. Uh, there's a lot of good funds you'll see me purchasing when it comes for funds and ETFs. Um, so just pay attention to the funds I get into. Do your own research and see if those are the type of funds you want to uh, invest in. Uh, next, we put two dollars into ServiceNow ticker NOW. We put uh, three dollars into Lamb Research. We put four dollars into ASML Holding NV. We put five dollars into SVB Financial Group. Uh, financials are going to do very well in 2021. So definitely, uh, you know, put some financials in your portfolio if they're not there. Then we put $6 into Equinox. We put $7 into Cheryl Williams. Um, it's pretty much a paint company. Um, I mean, that makes so much revenue off the industrial sector uh, of their customer base from uh, companies to the small guys. Uh, definitely a household name brand here. So definitely a great long-term investment. Next, we put uh, $8 into BlackRock, ticker BLK. Uh, this is a hedge fund as well. Very, very dope fund. Um, very smart investors, very smart board members. So uh, definitely a great long-term play there. Then we put $9 into Intuitive Surgical. Uh, we went ahead and deposited $3 into Robinhood, deposited $3 into Weeble. We deposited $3 into Stash, deposited $3 into Cash App, deposited... Okay, my bad. We went ahead and purchased ten dollars worth of micro strategy in the Cash App. Uh, deposited three dollars into our public account. Uh, we went ahead and purchased one dollars worth of Nvidia in public. We went ahead and purchased two dollars worth of Fidelity Nasdaq Composite Index. Once again, there goes another fund. Uh, this one's from Fidelity. Uh, we put three dollars into Netflix. I'm sure everybody knows what Netflix is. You know, the streaming service. Uh, pretty innovative great platform um, very good revenue uh, it, it just blew up so massively uh, during the pandemic and you know pretty much everybody I know uses Netflix at one point in time throughout the day or throughout their week or month or whatever um, so definitely a great long term investment put $4 into uh, Americo put $5 into Tesla Tesla speaks for itself uh, we put $6 into Boston beer company we put seven dollars into autozone I'm sure everybody knows what autozone is you go there buy parts for your car order them um, stuff like that we put eight dollars into texas pacific land trust um, i highly suggest you to do your due diligence and look at these guys profit margins and their financial reports uh, very great company here then we put nine dollars into chipotle i believe the ticker cmg um, you know it's a fast food or maybe not a fast food but it's a food chain uh very popular very great dishes uh, they do like burritos bowls stuff like that uh, then we put ten dollars into alphabet google google's a uh, one of the top three or top five tech companies in the world um, they own like youtube and other things like that google search engine very great investment then we would have put three dollars into the charles Schwab account Went ahead and deposited three dollars into Ameritrade. Uh, went ahead and bought fourteen dollars worth of Google Alphabet Class C in the Charles Schwab account. Went ahead and purchased fifteen dollars worth of Book Holdings Inc. ticker BKNG. Went ahead and purchased sixteen dollars worth of Amazon ticker AMZN. Um, Amazon is one of the biggest companies in the world. They have logistics, pharmaceuticals. They have pretty much everything, um, you know, retail stores, um, you know, fresh food. They do it all. So it's kind of like Walmart and uh, 
CVS and it's like all in FedEx. You, it's like all these companies combined, basically, is what Amazon is. Uh, then we put three dollars into the Vanguard account, put thirty-seven dollars into the Weebull account, we put seventeen dollars into the public account, we put two dollars into the Robinhood account, two dollars into Weebull, two dollars into Stash, put two dollars in the Cash App, we put two dollars in the public, two dollars, uh, one dollar into Charles Schwab, one dollar into Ameritrade, one dollar into Vanguard. Uh, $17 in the stash. We put $22 in the M1. Uh, this is just looking at my Robinhood portfolio. It's currently valued at $18,439.20. Over the past year, uh, we are up $4,693.97. Total percent gain of 34.15%. 34 so it's doing about three, four times of the market. Uh, and we do have buying power of 123.31. Uh, Bitcoin ran up some more. It's now valued at 772.38. Uh, Litecoin ran up some more. It is now valued at $100.21. Ethereum had more run-ups. Now valued at 88.56. Um, once again, Bitcoin up more. Now valued at $3,429.28. Uh, Bitcoin more run-ups. Now valued at 43.74. Ethereum ran up some more. Now valued at 205.69. Litecoin now valued at 118.52. Um, the Coinbase app is valued at $630.95. Uh, we got Zcash. We got a uh, 25% of a token valued at 39.36. Uh, Litecoin is valued at 39.10. Uh, we got Ethereum valued at 38.38. We got Ethereum Classic. We have 2.76 coins valued at 38.13. We got a Bitcoin Cash. We got 5% of a coin valued at 34. Um, I don't know why it shows up twice, but okay. Uh, then we went ahead and made six purchases in the M1 Finance for 22.18. We bought Avi, Dow, Purdue Financial, um, RETL, which is a Dexron um, daily retail bull 3X share. So it's three times the leverage. We got Viacom CBS and Exxon Mobil. Uh, all purchases were an even amount of $3.69. Um, so we got some great financials, some great uh, leverage companies here, um, communications company, and of course, uh, fossil fuel company, uh, energy company. Uh, then we have more run ups in the uh, Robinhood account. It's valued at $18,506.15. Uh, Bitcoin more run ups. Now valued at seven eighty seven fifty nine, Ethereum now valued at eighty nine fifty, uh, Bitcoin now valued at three three thousand four hundred ninety three dollars seventy four cent, Bitcoin now valued at four ninety three sixty seven, Litecoin now valued at one nineteen ten, Ethereum now valued at one oh eight thirty four. I'm sorry, two oh eight thirty four. Then we got some Bitcoin in the crypto dot com portfolio is valued at five dollars and eight cent. Uh, Coinbase is valued at 634.62 uh, Wrap Bitcoin valued at 36.18 So those were my 29 buys um, Of course a lot of crypto movement uh, Do your due diligence See if these are any of the tokens or coins that you want to buy for yourself uh, To diversify your portfolio And have a hedge against the fiat currency As well as look at some of the stocks that I bought as well um, see if it's any any of them are uh, catching your eye to add to your own personal portfolio. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe, hit that bell. Uh, stay tuned. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm trying to get back to my thumbnail for my last video, so uh, you know you guys can check it out if you if you don't mind. It is an Adobe uh, thumbnail, as that was one of the bigger purchases that I made yesterday. There you go. So yeah, that's the thumbnail to my last video. Check it out. Uh, see you in the next one, guys.